Unlike APT on Ubuntu and Homebrew on Mac OS, there is no well-known package manager on Windows which you can use to quickly install FFmpeg. For Windows, we need to download and set it up manually. For this, let's first search for FFmpeg download on Google. And then go to the official site at ffmpeg.org slash download.html. If we hover over the Windows logo here, we see that they provide a couple of links to external sites which host pre-built FFmpeg packages. Let us follow one of these, like the first one to gyan.dev. Here we can see a number of build variants to choose from. The Git variants are built from the master branch and they are updated very frequently, like every day or so. And the release variants are built from the latest release branch, which is 4.4 as of today. And for each of these, there are two types of packages, full and essentials. The essentials have the most commonly used libraries and the full packages contain a larger set of libraries in them. So if we scroll down a little, we will see the links to each of these builds. These are the git builds from master branch and below we have the release builds. Any of these will serve our purpose for now, but let's choose a release build so that we can be sure about which exact version of FFmpeg we run. So let's choose FFmpeg release essentials.zip. Since we don't need the extra libraries and zip files are easier to extract, if you choose a 7-zip package, you will need to install the 7-zip tool to extract it. Another point to note is that we are downloading a static build, which means all the dependencies will be packed into single executable files for FFmpeg, FFprobe, and FFplay. And we will not need to deal with any extra DLL files. The build package called shared has the separate DLL files for the libraries and the executables load them using dynamic linking. So let's just download ffmpeg release essentials.zip. So after we have downloaded the zip file, we need to extract it to a place from where it will be run in the future. So just as an example, let us extract it to G drive. And then if we go into the extracted folder, we can see that the bin folder inside it contains the executables we want. We can add this folder to our path environment variable so that we can run these tools without having to specify this full path every time. So we can search for environment variables and from the system properties dialog, click on this environment variables button. So there are actually two path variables. One is the user path variable here on the top and the other one is the system path variable here on the bottom. We can add our FFmpeg location to the path variable in the user section which applies to the current user only or we can add it to the system path variable which makes it work for all users of this machine. For our purpose we are just adding it to the user path variable. So we need to copy the location where we extracted up to the bin folder and then we need to create a new value, add a new value with this value and select OK. So the path variable, user path variable now contains the location to our FFmpeg executables. So press OK. And now we can open a command prompt and type FFmpeg to check. So we can see that our path setup worked and we have FFmpeg version 4.4 running here. Similarly, we can check FFprobe and also FFplay.
Thank you for watching. You can find the link to the full FFmpeg course in the description of this video. Please subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos and tutorials.